Hey everybody, it's Friday, April 3rd, 2020, and today is day number nine of Mr. Donley Reads. Now yesterday we read a book that was all about using your imagination. It was called Not a Box by Antoinette Portis. Now today we're going to read a book that's just a little bit different than any of the other books we've read so far. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about your favorite book. Now what's the best part of your favorite book, would you say? Is it a story? Maybe it's the characters. Or would you say the best part of your favorite book are the pictures? I think most of us would agree that pictures and books are usually the best part. So what would you think about a book that doesn't have any pictures? Do you think it would be fun to read? Or do you think it would be boring and stinky and no good? Yeah? I think a lot of us would agree that a book with no pictures would be boring and stinky and no good. So guess what? Today, we're going to read a book with no pictures. It's written by B.J. Novak. So, I'm just going to tell you right here, you can go ahead, this is your last warning, close out the video. Because we're reading this kind of book today, this video is not going to be any fun. It's going to be boring. It's going to be no good. It's going to be stinky. This is just a forewarning. Go ahead, click off the video right now because there's no chance that this book and video are going to be any good. Trust me. It's your final warning. Let's read this book with no pictures. The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. I think we've established that, BJ. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. I think we've also established that, BJ. It probably seems boring and serious, except, except, here is how books work. Everything the words say the person reading the book has to say. Hmm, that's true. No matter what. Hmm, I'm not sure I like where this is going. That's the deal, that's the rule. So that means, even if the words say, Blork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf. Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Every one? Uh-oh. Uh I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. What is this? And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. What is this? Yes, I am a monkey. No, I'm not. Also, I am a robot monkey and I'm speaking in a robot voice. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. <laughs> Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? I should have picked a different book. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song, do I really have to sing it? Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off of the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it? No. There are more pages? I have to read the rest? Come on, please, please. Fine. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? Are you serious? Boo Boo Butt. And also, 
the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? The best kid ever. Ha. And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kid chose this book, even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a whole heck of a lot. And make silly sounds like... Silly sounds. I don't even want to turn the page. Oh no, oh no. Here it comes. Gurgawako magrampadu aia aia brug 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 oomph imph blagani blagani glibli glabri glibli glabri glibli glabri 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 My goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please because this is just too ridiculous to read. Please, I beg you, all of you, don't ever make me read this book again. The end. Bonk! I didn't want to say that. So, The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak. Don't ever make me read this book again. That was terrible. I cannot believe all of you out there tricked me into reading this book. No, oh, wait a second. There's a warning here on the back. I probably should have read this warning before I read the book. Let's see what this warning says. This book looks serious, but it is actually completely ridiculous. If a kid is trying to make you read this book, the kid is playing a trick on you. You will end up saying silly things and making everybody laugh and laugh. Don't say I didn't warn you. Why didn't I read this before I read the book? You guys were all tricking me. I won't forget this. So, I guess I'll see you on Monday, maybe. No, I'll definitely see you on Monday. I hope you have a good weekend. Bye-bye.